Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is the fourth lecture of the Applied Physics course. I'm Dr. Saad Ahmad. Today we'll be discussing about the linear momentum, the physical quantity that describes the quantity of motion in a body. Let's start. Okay, so we have here the definition, the product of mass and velocity of a moving body is called the linear, linear momentum. P is equals to mv. The momentum is a vector quantity as you can see because it has direction and the magnitude. Momentum is the property of a moving body that determines how much effort is required to accelerate or stop a body. Body can be a car, a any any vehicle any any particle anything what momentum tells you that how much effort is required to stop that body from moving or to make it move or accelerate it may also be termed as the quantity of motion of a body from various observation it is concluded that greater effort is required to stop a body if it possesses either great mass or great velocity so basically momentum is the thing and it is used the unit used to express momentum the linear momentum is newton second it is also known as NS unit. Okay, so now we know what momentum is. Let's move forward and see what is force and momentum. The time rate of change of the momentum of a partic particle is equal to the net force acting on a particle and is in the direction of that force so the force net is equals to dp upon dt the linear momentum of a system of particles system as a whole has a total linear momentum which is defined to be the vector sum of the individual particles so the same thing applies here you can see that P1 plus P2 plus P3 and P is equals to MV1 plus MV2 plus MV3 and so on. So P is equals to capital MV. Conversation of momentum. If no net external force act on a system of particles, the total linear momentum of a system cannot change so we know that P is constant so PI is equals to PJ is a closed isolated system so if there is an isolated system their total linear momentum cannot change equation for, for closed isolated system can also be written as total linear momentum at some initial point on time T1 is equals to the total linear momentum at some later point in time t2 if the component of a net external force on a closed system is zero along the axis we have studied axis and all the y-axis axis and coordinates everything then the component of a linear momentum of the system along that axis cannot change we are talking about a single axis here let's take an example of a one dimensional explosion. Figure 1 a shows a space craft and a cargo module of total mass m traveling along an x-axis in a deep space. Okay. They have an initial velocity of magnitude of 2100 kilometers relative to the sun with a small explosion. The spacecraft ejects the cargo module of mass point twenty two zero m shown in the figure one a the a spacecraft then travels 500 kilometers per hour faster than the module 
along with the x-axis now uh, the situation means that the speed of the spacecraft the hauler has increased after ejecting the cargo module because the weight obviously is reduced that is the relative speed between the hauler the spacecraft and the module is 500 km per hour what then is the velocity of the hauler relative to the Sun after it ejected the cargo module so I hope you understand the question let's try to get the answer for it we studied in, a, in the slide before this one that if there is an isolated closed system of two particles momentum before and after explosion will remain same so you remember this equation yeah total linear momentum at some initial time is equal to total linear momentum at some later time which is the exact case we are we have discussed in this problem so after calculation you can check out these calculations uh, but after the calculation I'm not going to go into plus minus and all that you can check them yourself you can see the result here that is 2200 km per hour, per hour which is same as shown or given in the example question so the answer for this is that momentum before and after the explosion will remain same I advise you to look into these calculations and try to solve it all right there are some more problems which I want you to do for conservation of momentum a two kilogram block A and a one kilogram B are pushed together against spring and tied with a cord when the cord breaks the one kilogram block moves to the right at 8 meter per square meter per second with the velocity of 2 what is the velocity of 2 kg block you have this answer here you have to do the mathematics the calculations and confirm your answer another problem is a 60 kg football player stands in, on a frictionless lake of ice he catches a 2 kilogram football and then moves 40 centimeters per second and what is was the initial velocity of the football answer is given just do the mathematics and confirm your answer another problem an 87 kilogram skater B collides with an 22 kilogram staker, stak, skater A initially addressed A was initially addressed on an ice on ice they move together after the collision at 2.4 meter per second find the velocity of the skater B before collision confirm your answer and the fourth one is uh, 0 0.150 kilogram bullet is fired at 715 m meter per second into a 2 kg wooden block at rest the velocity of the block afterwards is 40 meter per second the bullet passes through the block and emerges with that and emerges with what velocity you have to find out the velocity after it emerges or come out of the block from the other side so do these four problems next topic is elastic and inelastic collision a collision is an event in which two or more bodies exert forces on each other for a relatively short time this is collision the basic definition and elastic collision is that in which the momentum we have studied momentum of the system as well as the kinetic energy of the system before and after collision conserved you know the kinetic energy that is due to motion alright so an inelastic collision is that in which the momentum of the system can be before and after collision is conserved but the kinetic energy before and 
after collision is not conserved. Next, consider two non-rotating spheres of mass m1 and m2, this and this, moving initially along the line joining the centers with velocities u1 and u2 in the same direction. Both are moving in the same direction. Let u1 is greater than u2, which means the velocity of m1 is greater than the velocity of m2, which means they are going to collide with each other at some point in time. They collide with one another and after having an elastic collision, I start moving with velocities v1 and v2 in the same direction on the same line. They collide here, you can see, and then this was pushed back and they still move in the same direction. Momentum before collision is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 and momentum after collision is m1 u v1 plus m2 v2. According to the law of conservation of momentum both should be equal. So m1 is equals to v1 minus u1 is equals to m2 bracket u1 u2 minus v2. Similarly the kinetic energy of the system before collision is half m1 v u1 square plus half m2 u2 square. After the collision is this one you replace u2 with v2 and u1 with v1 for elastic collision. Kinetic energy of the system before and after collision is conserved and you get this equation, check out the mathematics, solve it. Dividing equation 2 by equation 1 we get v1 is equal to u2 plus v2 minus u1 and u v2 is equal to v1 plus v u1 minus u2. Putting the values of v2 in equation 1, put the values of v1 and we get this and uh, for v2 again we put the value of v2 into equation 1 to calculate sorry v1 into equation 1 to get the value of v2 and we get this v2 value okay so these these are the derivations to calculate elastic and inelastic collisions here are some problems which you are to solve problem 1 a football Point zero zero point zero zero point seven five zero kilogram is thrown at a golf ball of fifty gram. A football of seven point seven five kilogram and a golf ball of fifty gram. Make sure you see that the the units are different here, so you have to make them same. The football is moving at ninety meter per seconds to the right, while the golf ball is moving fifteen meters per second to the left. What are the velocity after elastic collision in one dimension? You have to solve it. The other problem a car 1800 kg are going 150 km per hour rear end a truck 550 sorry 5500 kilogram going 10 sorry 100 km per hour what are their velocities and after an elastic collision in one dimension? These are the answers. I want you to solve these problems and check it. As I said in the very first lecture that for physics you have to keep practicing and if you are finding things becoming a little difficult after third and fourth lecture then maybe you are not giving enough time to your studies and uh, doing solving problems and doing work. So give more time and don't Think that you cannot do it you will be able to do it the only thing required is to that you have to do keep practicing and work harder anyway thank you very much and if you have any questions or queries you can contact me okay thank you very much Allah